Carrie here. So, at the weekend I came across one of my favourite poems and it inspired me to make a video about it. So this is a poem and you may well know it. It says, When things go wrong, as sometimes they will, when the road you're trudging seems all uphill, when the funds are low and the debts are high and you want to smile but you have to sigh, when care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must but don't you quit. Life is queer with its twists and turns, as every one of us sometimes learns, and many a fellow turns about when he might have won had he stuck it out. Don't give up, though the pace seems slow, you may succeed with another blow. Often the goal is nearer than, it seems to a faint and faltering man. Often the struggler has given up, when he might have captured the victor's cup. And he learned too late, when the night came down, how close he was to the golden crown. Success is failure, turned inside out, the silver tint in the clouds of doubt, and you never can tell how close you are. It might be near when it seems so afar. So stick with the fight when you're hardest hit. It's when things seem worse that you must not quit. And I really love that poem because I just think it's so true. It is so true. So off, so many people quit when they are on the verge of having that breakthrough and making something wonderful happen. And I think that this is such a poignant po poem, especially for us entrepreneurs, because the journey isn't always easy. In fact, the entrepreneurial journey can be a, a real adventure, as shall I say. I almost liken it to being on a roller coaster ride. There, there can be the most incredible highs and the most exciting at times, but then there can also be these awful lows when you just feel at a loss and frustrated and confused and you start to doubt yourself and then you're not sure whether you can even keep going anymore and if you're even doing the right thing or if you can even make it happen. And so many people end up giving up and never succeeding, at the, never following through on their dream, never making it happen. And it's such a shame and I don't want that to happen to any of us. I want us all to achieve the most incredible things and really make it happen. And so to help you to stick with it, to never give up on yourself and your ideas, I thought I'd share the three things which really helped me when whenever I'm feeling low and whenever I'm feeling like I can't do it anymore and I don't have the strength to go on. So these three things really help me and I just think they're so important and powerful because I think sometimes on our entrepreneurial journeys it is quite lonely and sometimes you don't realise that other people struggle loads and loads and loads. You look at other people and think, God, they're breezing through, they're making so much progress, why am I not? Why is it so difficult for me? Why am I facing all these challenges and setbacks? And I think it's because people don't often talk about their challenges and setbacks. And I think sometimes when you know that actually it's normal to go through phases where you feel like you just can't do it anymore, that it gives you that little bit of strength to just keep going. And I think that, I oft personally think that it's in those phases where you're feeling the struggle, you're feeling the challenges, you, and you have to push, that you are pushing through to reach another level, and you're pushing through to reach another level of greatness. And so I find it quite encouraging. I think, right, I'm pushing through to make something wonderful happen here. So I kind of see it as more exciting. But anyway, now let me share with you the three things that really help me. So the first thing is having self-belief. This is so important because I feel like when you're on the brink of giving up, it's often because you've lost hope. You've lost hope in yourself and your ideas. You don't believe that you can make it happen anymore. You don't believe that it's possible. And when you start believing that it's not possible, it's like you start shutting down. You just, everything that seems harder, you can't make it happen. And then you end up feeling like you have to give up, feeling like you have to quit. And so I think it's so important to make sure that you have the self-belief and the hope and the faith that you will succeed and that will help you push through those times when you feel like you want to give up. That having that self-belief is going to help you to push through. So how do you do it? How do you have more self-belief and less doubt? I think that other people can give you the confidence in yourself to believe in yourself, but I think ultimately you have to choose to believe in yourself. You have to choose to believe in your ideas and to believe that you can make that happen. No one else can choose that for you. No one else can make that decision. So you have to decide 
this is my life, this is my dream, these are my, the things that I want to achieve and I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to choose to believe in myself because I know that when I believe in myself there's more of a chance that I'm going to make it happen. Because I think that self-belief is a bit like magic dust. When we believe in ourselves completely and fully, it's like we can make the impossible possible. If you look out there at all the people who have achieved the most incredible things in the world, things that people said were impossible, it's because they believed with every fibre in their body that they could do it, that they could make it happen. And that's what you have to do. You have to believe in yourself. You have to make the decision to believe in yourself. You, you only you, can choose that. And this is your life, so believe, believe you can do it so that you can make the most incredible things happen. Because at the end of the day, we are who we choose to be. So choose to be amazing. Choose to be the person that has that unwavering self-belief. Choose to be the person that goes out there and owns it and makes it happen. So the second thing that really helps me whenever I'm feeling like I'm on the verge of giving up is realising or acknowledging that it's just an adventure. This is my adventure. And it's got twists and turns, it's got ups and downs, and that is just all part of the fun of it. That is all a part of my journey. And I just choose to, it, I change my perception so I think, what can I learn from this challenge that's gonna help me to become even better? And I think that that's the powerful thing to do when you switch your perception, because then you're looking at it and you're thinking, I don't wanna make this, I don't want this to be easier, I want to know how I can be better. That is such a powerful way to look at things. I don't want it to be easier. I want to know how I can be better. How can you be better? How can you make it through those challenging times and then learn from that experience and just grow and grow and grow as a person? So I find that shift in attitude, that shift in perception can make all of the difference. It can be the difference between feeling like you can't go on and feeling like, actually, if I look at this in a different way, I can actually see that I can move forward with this. And then the third thing that really helps me is looking at the bigger picture. Because I find it is so easy to get caught up in the day-to-day -day trials and tribulations and let them weigh you down. I know that that happens to me so often. And you get so caught up, and you get so overwhelmed, you get so frustrated by the day-to-day -day challenges and setbacks that you just can't see the wood for the trees anymore and you can't see how to move forward. And it's just frustrating and that's when you feel like you start having those doubts and then you start feeling like you can't do it anymore. And I remember once coming across a video by Les Brown and Les Brown was saying, imagine that you're lying on your deathbed and all of a sudden around you appear ghosts and they are no ordinary ghosts. These are the ghosts of the ideas, the dreams, the businesses, the skills and the talents that you possess. But you never did anything with them. You never wrote that book, you never built that business, you never turned that idea into a reality, you never used those skills and those talents. And so those, these ghosts have stood around you and they are so angry with you. They're saying, we wanted to be something, but you never did anything with us and now we have to die with you. And I remember watching that video and thinking, oh my goodness, like, it really put it into perspective for me. I don't want my ideas to die with me. I don't want to be the person that comes up with an idea to write a book and then never does it, never makes it happen. I want to be the person that makes the most out of each and every single day to constantly move towards my goals and to believe that I can make it happen and that I can do it and that I will do it. And sometimes I think taking a step back to look at the bigger picture helps you to really change your perspective because you know, when, like I said, when you get caught up in day-to-day -day trials and tribulations, sometimes the smallest thing can seem like the most the biggest thing in the world that can stop you and hold you back. But I feel like when you take a step back and just look at the fact that this is your life, this is your one life to make amazing things happen, this is your chance to do something incredible with your life. So you have to step up and take the opportunity to make it happen. Choose to be the person that believes in yourself. Choose to be the person that's, that's going to push themselves to be as great as they can possibly be and make your dreams come true. Because this isn't a dress rehearsal, this is it. So every day counts, so make it count. I think that having taking that step back and looking at the bigger picture always makes me think, I can, like, yes, I've got to step up and do it. Because I don't wanna to get to the end of it all and think, oh my gosh, I just wish I had done that. I wanna to get to the end and think, yes, I tried so hard and I, I did my best. I did my best with it all. That's what I want to think. And so when I take a step back, it helps me whenever I'm feeling like I can't go on anymore. I just think that and I think, what am I giving up for? What am I quitting for? Because it's difficult, because I'm scared, because of, of, of I don't know, any other stupid reason that pops into my head when I'm feeling the doubts and the worries and the overwhelm. And I just think actually in the grand scheme of things, 
it doesn't matter because this is my life and I want to make this happen and I'm going to make it happen. So those are some of the things that really help me to keep going whenever I'm feeling like I'm in a dip and I feel like everything's tough and I feel like giving up and I can't do it. Those are the things that help me to push on through and to keep going. So I really hope that they help you as much as they help me. And I've also made some screensavers for you if you want so that you can put them as screensavers. I'm, I did a quote and I did um, the self-belief being magic dust one to give you a reminder if you want to put it on your desktop um, so you can every time you see it you can be reminded that you can make it happen and hopefully will give you a little sprinkling of that magic dust and make you think yes I can do it I can make it happen and I will make it happen no matter how long it takes me no matter how slow the pace gets no matter how many how much I you know how many challenges I face I am gonna keep going because like this in this poem you don't want to be the person you don't want to be the struggler that gave up when he was just around the corner from making it happen so don't quit. Not that you are thinking of quitting necessarily, but I'm just saying don't quit. If you experience these lows, keep going and believe in yourself. Just be the amazing person that you are here to be. So I would absolutely love to hear what you think about this. Do you ever go through phases when you feel like giving up and you feel like it's just so hard and you can't keep going anymore? And if so, what helps you to keep going? Leave a comment and share your thoughts and experiences on this because I think this is an important one and I think that we can all gain so much strength by sharing our own experiences. So head over to the blog and leave a comment and I will see you next week for another dose of inspiration.